so I am a citizen and resident of the United States, and somewhat recently I worked at a polling place during a county municipal election. The handbook was very long and thoroughly written. In all honesty, it was probably the best and most unambiguous set of instructions I have ever been given, and one particularly emphatic section concerned the crime of electioneering. This is defined as the promotion of any political party or cause while on the premises of any polling place. One is not allowed to hand out flyers, wear official or unofficial party or candidate merchandise, unless obscured, or promote, verbally or otherwise, any party, individual, candidate, or policy decision. Commission of such an act is a crime punishable by law and can result in removal from the polling place and consequent inability to cast a ballot if committed by someone working at the polling place who are officially referred to as election judges for some fucking reason. It's grounds for being fired on the spot and kicked out. They'll bring in someone else in your place, and you will be lucky to ever be hired there again. However, it appears they take this more seriously than I thought. If not the employers themselves, the county authorities, then certainly my co-workers. I was making conversation with one of my fellow judges. Since we were in a dry spell during a day that was itself a full fucking dry spell, we had 40 people come in the entire day, and I said to her, Did you ever hear that Ron DeSantis eats pudding with his hands? She said no. And I went on quite simply, yeah, apparently he just licks it off his fingers like a monkey. At that point, she said, I don't think we're supposed to be talking about candidates here. Here's the thing, though. There wasn't a mayoral race going on at the time. And we weren't in Florida. So I said to her, even people not in any of the races? And she just replied, I don't think so. I, of course, said, did you hear that President Lincoln was shot? But this made me think, you know? Also, I am reading this off a script on my computer screen. I could cry about it. It just made me think. Would that get me in trouble if some hard ass from the county clerk's office were watching me and heard me talking about Ron DeSantis pudding finger? Like, despite the fact that I wasn't promoting or insulting any candidate actually on the ballot, I hadn't even heard of any of them, so I wouldn't have known what to say or even making any particularly political comment about DeSantis. I was just talking about a thing he does outside of the office. Well, actually, sometimes on the grounds, but, you know, not as... I mean, I could, I could kind of feel... I could kind of see what my fellow judge meant, even if, if it was a real stretch. And from what I know about bureaucracies, especially those tied directly up with the government, I know that they delight in stretching the letter of the law like fucking Kathy to get what they want. So how far would they be willing to stretch it? If someone's wearing Juneteenth merchandise, would that say something political? Would they have to go or change their shirt? What if they make a more unambiguous but still political statement, even more political than the previous, in fact, with just a shirt that says on it, Chattel slavery is bad. Would they have to go home and change? Wear their shirt inside out, maybe? Or what if they had a more hot-button issue on their shirt? What if they had a shirt that said on it, Free Palestine? What if it was merch from somewhere that sells those? Or what if they just made it themselves? What if they just drew it on with Sharpie? Or what if they just said, I think the ongoing settler colonization of Palestine is bad? That's a pretty clear statement. Doesn't show any alliance for or against any particular group, unless, one of, unless you're one of those chuckle fucks who's stupid enough to believe that the only people who are anti-Zionist are anti-Semites. Very particular and easy to parse, though a bit lengthy. So would it get you kicked out? That's my question. I don't know. Or how about another issue on this hypothetical shirt with just text that says, I think the ongoing genocide against transgender people is bad. White shirt, black text, nondescript font, maybe cursive, maybe neo-grotesque, maybe windings if you're feeling mischievous and steganographic. Once again, no explicit party endorsement or abasement. No mention of any individual politician's name nor any individual policy. One could even argue that the shirt is more of an expression of taste than anything, like saying, I like chocolate chip cookies. Or alternatively, I don't like chocolate chip cookies. Now let me be clear about a few things. I've never actually done this. I only worked one election, meaning I was only working for one single day, plus a few hours the previous evening. So I don't really have any real way to say what would happen if I attempted this, unless I do, though I am greatly tempted to do so. These are mainly just my musings, and I don't want to slide into, or seem like I am, that uh, arguing with a guy I just made up thing, or 
getting mad at an event that I just experienced in my imagination. I also don't want to give off too strong of a First Amendment auditor vibe, you know, those guys whose cocks are so microscopic that even a giant fuck-off Hummer isn't enough to compensate anymore, so they have to add to it a video camera and a loud public presence while asserting dominance over some fucking desk worker at their local library who definitely would not be paying, definitely would not be paid enough for this shit if their salary was fucking doubled. Anyways, these political edgelord types can get really fucking grating at times, and in fact all the time, but I think I have slightly more grounds to make my funny little jokes than they might. Either way, as I say, these are just my musings. I have hope that you have enjoyed them and been able to overlook all the times that I have tripped over my words.